The saddleback loach is a scarce and beautiful species. This charming, peaceful fish grazes on biofilm and algae, making it an excellent member of a well-researched community aquarium. These loaches are best kept in a species-only aquarium, but will also mix well with other types of loaches. Other tank mates could include peaceful barbs, gobies, devarios, rasboras and smaller catfish. Saddleback loaches are endemic to Indonesia, Laos, Thailand and Malaysia in Southeast Asia. These fish have been collected from the Sungai Baram, Sungai Tatu and Sungai Rajan, Sungai Sambas, Sungai Kapuas and the Sungai Mahakam river basins. These fish inhabit fast flowing, shallow oxygen saturated black waters with a substrate comprising rocks, boulders, gravel and bedrock covered in rich biofilm developed by microorganisms and algae. Small patches of lush aquatic plants are sometimes present in their habitats. Saddleback loaches live in organised groups in the wild, so it would be best if you kept these fish in groups of six or more. Keeping these fish in a larger group will make for a fantastic display and you will witness more natural behaviours from your fish. However, if you keep these fish alone or in small groups, they will become withdrawn. In addition, the interaction between individuals is also fascinating to watch. These loaches will typically arrange themselves close to one another, facing the water flow at specific times of the day. The saddleback loach will thrive in an aquarium with a good amount of water flow and aeration, considerable amounts of hiding places formed by rocks or driftwood, and smooth pebbles and stones to graze on. The lighting in the aquarium will need to be quite bright as this will encourage algae growth on the decor. Suitable plants for high flow environments are Microsaurium and Anubius. These will grow on the rocks and driftwood. The saddleback loach primarily feeds on biofilm and algae. However, these fish will also accept some good quality small dry foods like flakes, algae wafers and sinking pellets alongside live or frozen foods such as brine shrimp, mysis shrimp, daphnia and bloodworm, which are all essential for their health. It is pretty challenging to differentiate between the male and female saddleback loach. However, sexually mature females are usually a little plumper and slightly larger than the males. Unfortunately, because this fish is so rare, nothing has been recorded on the successful breeding of these loaches in the home aquarium. They are, however, likely to be seasonal spawners in nature, but there is no documentation on this. Thanks for watching.